All right, uh, let's look at the homework 2.8, problem number two. Uh, so we want to find the derivative and uh, find uh, their domain. Uh, all right, let's do that. All right, so find the derivative of this function. So let's do that. Uh, g prime of x, by definition, is a limit as 8 approaches 0. No, so not 8, uh, h approaches 0. And square root of... Uh, phi minus x plus h minus g of x is square root of phi minus x all over h. All right, then we can use the trick uh, multiply top and bottom by square root of uh, phi minus uh, x plus h plus square root of phi minus x. And we're going to have to do the same thing to the denominator so that the, we don't change the quantity there. All right. All right. Then if you multiply out, uh, we have, uh, let's say, limit as h approaches 0. We still have to do that. Then you have uh, a minus b times a plus b. So that's squared, which is just uh, without the square root. So phi minus x plus h minus square of that would be 5 minus x and on the bottom I just have to copy uh, all those guys so you have 5 minus x plus h plus square root of 5 minus x all right then we can cancel a bunch of things we got y 5 minus 5 all right so negative x minus negative x all right then we have uh, h on the bottom and uh, h cancel out but there's a negative sign so it's going to be negative one on top right then we can say uh, h goes to zero so this guy disappears then what you get is um, right so you have a negative one on top then you have a square root of five minus x plus another square root of five uh, five minus x so it's a 2 square root of 5 minus x. All right, so domain of g is uh, fairly easy to find, right? So domain of g is we have to make sure that, uh, let's see, uh, 5 minus x has to be non-negative. So by adding 5, actually, maybe adding x, you have 5 is greater than or equal to x. So 5 has to be less than or equal to 5. So it's a negative infinity to 5 and the inclusive there. All right, so let's type it in. All right, we got, uh, let's see, negative 1 over 2 times uh, square root of 5 minus x. And uh, here, domain is negative infinity, so let's see, uh, symbol, infinity, to 5, and the square bracket there. And I state the domain of its derivative, right? So this is going to be actually a little bit different, because uh, derivative is uh, this guy right here, right? Since you, this is a denominator, so we have to make sure that the um, denominator here, is non-zero and from there uh, we can find right, divide by 2 and square root of 5 minus x cannot be equal to 0 and then we can square both sides so it's a 5 minus x cannot be 0 right then add x so 5 cannot be equal to x all right, so before we were, uh, we included 5, but for the derivative, we have to exclude 5, all right? So therefore, domain of g prime would be from negative infinity to 5, not including 5, all right? So uh, let's uh, type, it, type that in. So it's a negative uh, infinity to 5, but this one uses a parenthesis, right? Let's check the answer. All right, submit for testing. 
All right, it came back and looks like uh, we got this uh, all these guys correctly. All right, that's it. I hope that uh, this was clear.